Hey, it's Mark Pidolsky, The Land Geek, with thelandgeek.com, and I am back from Vegas. Larry Overstreet, look at you. Good to see you on this Periscope. Freeman, how are you? Anyways, um, crazy, uh, all right, thanks for the hearts. Crazy getting back from Vegas uh, this weekend. The excess of that town is ridiculous. Like, it's it's crazy. Um, a lot of business uh, things to learn from it. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Egner. And um, as you guys know, like I had, I was just on a, a strategy call with um, with uh, a client, and they're like, you know, there there they are, Bear Land Missy. So my client's like, I, I'm sure you didn't gamble because you don't believe in unearned income because they heard from another Periscope. I don't believe in unearned income from the lottery. I'm like, yeah, I literally did not gamble $1 in Vegas. So it was my wife's birthday. And uh, it was very relaxing, which is, I mean, not that relaxing because you have to walk so much in Vegas, but you know, it was, it was good. I don't love Vegas, honestly. It's too smoky, it's too many people. The excess the buffet. I, logistically, I don't know how they get that much food out every single day. It was crazy. Anyways, if you guys want a hotel recommendation or some restaurant recommendations, I have them. I'm a foodie. I know where to go. Um, there's a place that we went to in Caesars called Il Molina. Systems, that's right. Um, New York restaurant, phenomenal. Phenomenal if you like uh, Italian food. Very good. Um, and, you know, a little pricey, but everything in Vegas is kind of pricey. So I felt like it was good value for what we got. I, there's other times where you go to Vegas and it's like way overpriced. Danielle Dieball, hello. Um, way overpriced and you're like, uh, this isn't so great. Anyways, um, to say that I'm exhausted is an understatement. Um, anyways, uh, it's in case you don't know me, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with thelandgeek.com. I'm a professional land investor. I've, bought and sold over 5,000 land flips. And um, I've been a full-time land investor since 2001. Uh, you can learn about more about me at thelandgeek.com or subscribe to uh, one of our two podcasts, the Best Passive Income Model Podcast and the Land Geek Archive Podcast. Anyways, um, give me some harps if you guys want to go through the mail. Who wants to see the mail? Let's do it. What do you guys think? Did I get some deals? I'm sure I got some deals. All right, yeah. Aaron, Bearland Aaron. He's the one that uh, recommended I, I open the mail today, so why not? I got an interesting letter today before I opened the mail um, because I own some land in this area, and it's Josh Stevens from Adrenaline Wholesaling. We wholesale properties in your county and surrounding areas. Great. Let's see if you want to buy them. I've got like 200 in this area. Let's see if he's for real or not. All right. Should we open the mail? I'm going to need more hearts. Actually, you know what? Not more hearts. I need you guys to share on, uh, on Twitter to your followers if I'm going to open it. It's like Christmas. It is like Christmas, Matt Meller. Awesome. All right. So if you guys share um, with your followers, swipe right um, or swipe up on Android, swipe right to the iPhone or swipe up on Android to share. I'll go ahead and open the mail. Um, all right, there you go. Awesome. Thank you, Bearland Aaron and Bearland Missy. I appreciate it. Let's check out the first. Let's see. What do we got here? This is a 2.39 acre parcel. I did not realize that it was April 1st already. I got a nice chuckle out of your offer. When you are serious, then contact me. Whoa. Okay, we are serious. William Smith in Minnesota. So he didn't sign it, he, but he did take the time to mail it back to me to, real, to, realize, to write that it was April 1st, that it was like an April Fool's joke on our offer. Interesting. Uh, give me hearts if you think that we're going to contact him and, and see what he would take for this property. 2.39 acres. I thought we, we off, it was a pretty fair offer. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask him, like, Hey, William, so I'm not going to ask him, but what, why do you think your property is worth what it is when your neighbors are selling for this price? Um, 
Just curious, right? Do you have a well? Did you make some improvements? Scott Todd, there he is. What's up, Scott Todd? Um, Scott, since you just joined, I hope, I'm opening up the mail here. The guy wrote, I did not realize that it was April 1st already. I got a nice chuckle out of your quote unquote, he did put quote unquote offer. When you are serious, then contact me. But we are serious, so we will contact you. So there you go. All right, I'll scan this one. Let's check out the next one. This is thick. Oh, the cow. This is for a, ooh, this is a nice deal, actually. This is a Florida deal, Scott Todd. Quarter acre. They did accept it, but they, we offered 2500 and they countered at $3,000. we will get this deal done for sure. Not only did they accept it, but they sent in the deed with the last will and testament of the owner. So we can record the last will and testament. And it's notarized. What else here? Oh, they sent the certificate of death. Fantastic. So we got a really nice deal here. This right here is, this little piece of paper here is worth at least five grand on this deal. These properties fly off the, the, uh, the shelf. Thank you, um, Patricia. So it's, Patricia is not the owner. Um, it looks like the owner is this company, but it looks like the, the person we sent it to has deceased. So this is going to be some due diligence on this deal. All right. What else we got? Thanks for the hearts, everybody. So this is a deal for sure. A little complicated with the due diligence, but it's definitely a deal. Let's open up the next one. So right now I'm one for two. One for two. What we got? Oh my gosh, 20 acres. I keep getting these in this, in this area, in Texas. 20 acres, we offered 1,400 bucks. They countered at 79.50. What? Are you kidding me? Where'd you come up with 79.50? I guess 1,400 might be too low for 20 acres. Where'd we come up with 1,400 for 20 acres? All right, we'll call them, see what's going on. Like, why is it worth what you're asking? Again, you know, on these counters here, we can just option it and just see, are they right or not? You know, if I could sell it the 20 acre for 20 grand, 30 grand, I'll pay 79.50 all day long, right? Would you? Give me hearts if you would do that option deal. 20 acres is nice. So, all right. We definitely have one deal for sure. And it looks like we got two that we have to figure out, like, can we option them? What do we have here? April Fools. This sucks. I hate these. I hate these. Scott Todd, I know you hate these. But you know what it is? Hate. 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 More hate. But we'll find these people. Okay? It goes in the I will find you list. How will I find them? There's two ways to find these people. Intellius.com and binverified.com. But we will find you. We will mail it to you again. We will get you. There's always gold in these that come back. Boom. All right, let's open another one. Stalk them to the end, right? How is your luck, Skip Trace? It's okay. It's okay. I don't do it. Intellius, there you go. All right, here we go. 1.17 sec- acres. Oh my gosh, they, they set the time to counter at $18,000. We offered 1500 Really? Tommy and Louise, Colorado deal. Why would it be $18,000? We'll, we'll call them, we'll figure it out, but that's not a deal. People are crazy. Give me some hearts if you think these people are crazy, these counters. Yeah, look. Don't they know we're in the land business? Well, at least, you know what? We're making unreasonable offers. So I don't mind this. And we'll call them. We'll figure out, like, you know, why why are you pricing it this way? And maybe they'll come around. Or we can option it. Maybe they're right. We don't know. But we're not going to pay retail, I'll tell you that. All right. What do we got here? Uh Uh-oh. Got a letter. 
Let's see. You don't have to buy them all to make money. Yeah, that's true. Thanks for your offer. I am sorry to turn you down. I have paid the taxes and it is appraised at $2,700. As you know, you always ask more for it than that. So here's my offer. $2,700 cash in my pocket with no contingencies and terms. This area is a fast growing community and will only go up later on. If you are willing to go with my terms, you may reach me at this number. I'll tell you what, this is the same deal as the same quarter acre deal. Uh, this is this is worth five grand at twenty seven hundred bucks. This is a deal. So what am I? Hey Andrew, two for three, right? This is money. So far on this mailing, I can tell you right now, this mailing alone is worth ten grand. Easy, easily ten grand. That's worst case. That's a good deal. All right, let's open another one. see here. Hey, I love the hearts. Bop, 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 bop. More hearts. I love the hearts. I don't even know why I love the hearts. It's just like so cool to see. Bop, 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 bop. It's so great. Thank you guys and gals. I'm speaking to you, Beerland Missy. All right. Let's see here. Aha. No, it's too high. We offer 2500 That's the same county in Florida. They want $4,500. we will get it. We'll get it for, I bet, three. I bought the land for 4000 I cannot sell it for less. Yeah, you can, actually, because we're going to walk you through why you should sell it for less and how to take that tax write-off because it's tax time, right? Give me some hearts. If you don't want to pay on taxes, who hates the tax, man? I do. For sure I do. Unbelievable. Well, this is a deal. How many mailings a week are you sending to reach your goal? We're sending at least 200 a week, I think. Um, again, I have, uh, I'm, not, I'm not personally doing it. We're, we've got that automated. But um, what is it, 500 a week? I think we're doing 500 a week. We're sending a lot. But here we go. Um, I don't know for sure, but a lot. And then last but not least, taxes. I'll send this to my CPA. How do you weed out the tire kickers from Craigslist? Um, that's a good question, Andrew. You, you kind of have to figure out a process on how to do that. Um, you know, it's always good to have like a script um, and something like that. But um, yeah, Scott Todd, put them on your buyer's list. You know, those leads are always leads and stalk them. Yeah. So last week was a really good week. Um, we uh, should, I even, should I even tell him, Scott? Maybe I shouldn't even talk about it. I'll talk about it next Periscope. That way I have something to, to talk about. But um, we did a deal with uh, someone on a buyer's list that I guarantee all of you will be very envious of me. But look, let me, let me tell you, when I talk about my deals, okay, I've been doing this a long time. So comparison is the thief of happiness. Just be happy where you are at in your business, right? I'm not going to compare myself to Scott Todd when he's closing more deals than me just because he's only been doing this for like a year, right? I'm doing my best. He's doing his best. You guys just do your best. Sit, stay consistent. M&M's, Million Marketing, it's going to happen. Deals are going to happen. Move your needle. Um, we'll talk about Jeff Axton's deal as well. That was nuts. Two, okay. Two, oh, interesting. So I actually sent a check through Lab, and uh, it came back. So this is from the bank telling me that it came back. To protect you, this item was not paid. Please call this number if you're not authorized it. Which is weird. This is like the first of like, I don't know how many we've done through Lab, but the reason I'm using Lab to send out checks is that way my acquisition manager takes me out of the process totally. So I don't even have to write the check when we buy a piece of property if we're going doing a direct close. He can just do it, and I'm completely protected because I get an email saying that who it's out to. But for some reason, they didn't like it. I don't know. Anyways, um, give me some hearts if you guys found this uh, Periscope helpful. I've got a uh, wig meeting that I'm late for. What's the wigs? The wildly important goals. Would you send an offer with only an option if you don't have the cash on hand to purchase? No, send, just send offers and then convert it to an option, Matt. Otherwise, you're going to get too low a response rate. 
When do you plan to get your Tesla in that model? <laughs> Freeman, Tesla's not going to make me happy. You know what it's going to do? It's going to heap up a bunch of stress on me. I've talked to my wife about this. Do I want a Tesla? Of course. Does my ego want the Tesla? Absolutely. Right? I got three kids. I got college. Right? Come on. I got to be responsible. When everything else is done, right, and um, it's not going to be stressful to have a $1,000 a month car payment, yeah, I'll get a Tesla. Otherwise, there's like a, a, the, the lower price ones are coming out in a couple years, right? doesn't make me happy. You know, you know what they say, like the, the two happiest days for a yacht owner are? The day he buys it and the day he sells it. Yeah, student loans for the kids. Come on. Plus, like, that $1,000 a month on a Tesla for my ego, I can put forward towards land. Land. Used. Of course I'd get it used. I've never buy it new. But even still, like, even used, like, I, I looked, like, in 2013, it was like 65 grand for... It's, it's a depreciating asset. I don't want depreciating assets. I want assets that appreciate. So, yeah, it's nice to talk about a Tesla, um, but no, not, not now. Um, all right, I'm going to get a Camaro again when I can get it at auction. Awesome. Yeah, you got to have a big Y. Um, Bearland Misty's got a great Y. Alzheimer's facility. I love it. Anyways, um, I want to thank everybody for being on this uh, Periscope. Learn more about me. Go to thelandgeek.com. Download for free the Passive Income Blueprint. Get the ebook, How to Avoid Three Fatal Land Buying Mistakes. And look, subscribe, rate, and review the best passive income model podcast. Send us a screenshot of the review and get the Passive Income Launch Kit. It's a $97 product for free, zero. Give me hearts if you like free. Hearts for free. Really? There you go. Ah, nah. Okay, awesome. Hearts if you like your business, 85% automated. Land Geek proprietary automated software system. I love it. All right, well, thanks, everybody. I'm going to call Brian Whitney. Cheers. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Wow. It's hard to stop when you see all the hearts going. But um, how am I doing time-wise? Yeah, I got to run. Thanks, everybody. And uh, I'll see everyone tomorrow.